going to be recording. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be recording this meeting um, so that parents that could not attend, we can share. So we highly recommend um, if please turn off your cameras. Um, so you are, unless you really want to be part of the recording, um, to turn off your cameras so that you're not visible in that. Um, and at the end, we will have time where you can, we will stop recording for a minute and we can ask questions. You'll be able to type any questions you have into the chat and hopefully we'll be answering many of your questions along the way. Um, so just a few things, make sure, so camera's off. Um, remember to keep your microphone muted. Um, and then we suggest you select speaker view in Zoom so that you'll see, we're gonna be showing you a PowerPoint presentation and um, the chat at the end. Um, for anybody who's here, we are, okay, this keeps beeping, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, give me one minute here. Okay, I think we're done admitting people. So um, some of you on here, I just wanna make sure if your student is not starting a new instrument this year, you don't have to be at this meeting unless you really want to hear it. Um, most of our program is staying exactly the same last year. So you do not have to stay and listen to it all. If your student is starting a new instrument, rather bearing their strings, then definitely this is what you should be in. Um, teachers sent out our link to everybody just in case because um, we didn't want anybody to be missing if they wanted to be here. Um, and if you did not turn in your sign up form yet, um, you can definitely still do that tomorrow to us after listening to the meeting and finding more about us. So we are going to get started and um, I'm going to be sharing my screen and introdu introducing myself. I'm Elisa Mata, the strings teacher. And let me bring it up here. And all right. So um, I'm Elisa Mata. I teach um, strings in all three buildings, New Garden, Bancroft, and Greenwood. And we also teach one little tiny half day in kindergarten. So if you've heard your um, students saying to us, we have Mrs. <laughs> before, Mrs. Strickland before, they did. Um, so, and I'll turn it over to Mrs. Strickland now. Hi, I'm Michelle Strickland and I teach fourth and fifth grade band at Greenwood, Bancroft and New Garden. And I do teach at the kindergarten center as well. So I saw a lot of familiar faces this year. And we also have with us um, Brian Rotz, who is our representative for music and arts. And he'll be speaking later on in the presentation. Let's see if I can move onwards. <sighs> okay. Oops. There okay. we go. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit about our program. Um, lessons take place one day per cycle and that lesson lasts for a half hour. Each cycle, your daughter or son's lesson time will rotate throughout the day so that students are not pulled from the same class all the time. Um, in addition to their instrument lessons, students will have a half hour of ensemble rehearsal, which takes place in the morning when they get to school between 8.40 and 9.10 a.m. Um, and that is a set time for all three schools. The ensemble time is for beginner band, advanced band, and advanced orchestra. So we will see them twice a cycle. Um, that ensemble time will take place for beginners probably later on in November as they get to learn the instrument a little bit. Um, number two, a paper schedule will be given to your child with their group assignment and the times of their lessons each cycle. We will also email it to you guys and the homeroom teachers. And during our first lesson, we'll explain how to read and follow the schedule because it can be a little bit tricky. Um, Oh, and what I said before, beginner ensemble rehearsals will not begin until sometime in November. Um, and one other thing before Mrs. Mata speaks, um, there will be one concert this year. 
Um, and that's going to take place in May. We usually have two concerts, but we're very excited to at least have this one concert. Um, we do not have a date for that concert yet, but it will take place in May. And we're really excited about that. Wonderful opportunity to showcase what your children are learning during the school year. Okay. Um, now, what can you um, expect from the program? And we like to think of band and orchestra as a partnership between um, the teacher, the parent, and the student. Um, and that's really going to be giving them the best, um, the best experience that they can possibly have in our group. Um, so especially with third grade, this is a huge step in. Um, but we feel that they're ready. They have to be responsible with following the schedule. Every lesson, they need to remember their instrument and book and arrive promptly to all lessons. And we work with them. We work with the teachers because um, obviously we know we'll take some time to get into that routine. Um, but our goal is in the end that they're really learning that responsibility with this. Um, and in the beginning, we will send reminders. And we also send an explanation to parents as well with how to read our schedules because it is a different, um, it's different. We do a rotation, they have rotating times of lessons. So we take a lot of time to make sure everybody understands. And I would say within the first two or three cycles of lessons, everyone really does have it down and steps up and is responsible. Um, we ask at home that to encourage practicing and to make it a friendly, we like to say it's fun homework um, because in the end, if they practice, they're going to get to learn better and better music. And they have that end goal of the concert to play with their friends to be able to give them um we love to be able to give them that harder music so we do and you know part of that is at home that they have their own own little space and just be a corner um where they can to practice with a music stand with their book and their instrument um and have that as their little space um to do their instrument and we ask that they do a minimum of 10 minutes per day when they first start it might only be five and we know that practicing every day. We're both, Mrs. Strickland and I are both parents. We totally understand the craziness of the schedules, especially now that we're back in to so many other activities post-pandemic. Um, and having, it's what we do and what I try to do with my kids is we have, you know, we write a schedule and we really try to stick with that. Okay, this is your practice time. And we set up five to 10 minutes each day that might work for them. Um, and with that consistency, you're going to see some amazing progress. Um, and also, they love to play for family. If it's, you know, if it's their sibling, if it's a parent, a grandparent, they love to show off what they played. And at, 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 of course, at first, some of their, um, their sounds um, with strings, we start with where they introduce the bow. There's going to be some squeaks and squawks a little bit with some of um, with some of their instruments with that, but with that consistent practicing, I think you're going to be truly amazed with what they can accomplish um, over our school year. Um, finally, with taking care of your instruments, Mrs. Strickland and I spend a great deal of time um, with cleaning them um, for the band instruments, how you take them apart, how you put them properly in their case. Um, for string instruments, um, when they first arrive from music and arts or from the store that you get them from, they may not be tuned um, or they might be a little out of tune or a string might be loose. Please don't try to tune it yourself. Um, the number one email I get the day after you get your instrument is it's not in tune and we tried to tune it and we broke the string. <laughs> Something's not working or the bow isn't working. We will take care of all of that at our first lesson. Don't panic if, you know, if the bows are new and don't have resin on, it doesn't make a sound. I promise there's nothing wrong with the instrument. Um, and that's part of our first lesson is how do we take care of our instrument? How do we put it together? How do we put it mm -hmm. away? Um, so that, don't worry if you get it home and it's not doing what you think it should be doing at first, okay? All right, let's go I'm on. just gonna add one thing okay. that um, if you can just keep it in the case until that first lesson, that is the safest place for it because I'm just thinking of those poor clarinets and there are so many parts and so many little intricacies um, that we get really deep into in that first lesson. So it's very tempting to take it out and try to put it all together and try blowing into these instruments, but keep them in the case and we'll get there together. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Let's see if I can change the slide again. Oh, okay. Okay. 
So what instrument can my child play? Um, um, let's see, well, I guess, Elisa, you start. Oh, okay, I'll start. So most of you know, um, it's, um, third, fourth, and fifth graders may all play string instruments. And we offer violin, viola, cello, and bass. And we listened, all of the children got to listen to a video. Third graders all heard me play um, the violin, viola, cello, I think, and in one of the schools I did get to bring the bass around. Um, and we got to hear what, what, you know, they got to hear samples of it. And, you know, Mrs. Strickland and I both say they really should play the instrument that they really love the sound of. So if they don't like that higher sound, um, maybe the viola is a better choice, or if they don't like the low sound, violin is a better choice, but really go with something where they say, hey, mom and dad, I really like this sound. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and we if really you need try to, to <laughs> listen mm -hmm. to, before, if you're still trying to make up your mind, listen to them, like just a few years videos, um, have them start up violin pieces just or viola pieces so they can get to hear that instrument a little bit more. Um, very quick note, violin, viola, cello are all bus friendly. They are allowed to go on buses. Cello, we suggest that you your child request to sit up front on their instrument day so it doesn't have to bump its way back to the very back of the bus because it's in a soft case, but it can definitely go on the bus. Um, if your child is interested in playing the bass, I will be reaching out directly to you. Um, we school bases that you can utilize when your child is in school so they don't have to come back and forth, but you would need to bring the base to and from school once in a while for me to tune and have them work with their personal base um, because the, ba the base cannot go on the bus um, just because of its, its size and the bus drivers can't be expected to help carry it on and off the bus with your child. Um, but I will reach out directly if they are interested in the base. It's an awesome instrument, just not bus friendly. Mrs. Strickland? <laughs> And um, there are several instruments that they could choose from um, with the band. And like Elisa said, we had presentations for all the third, fourth and fifth grade classes. And so the kids got to hear all of these instruments um, and ask us questions, um, but they can play the flute, the clarinet, the alto saxophone, the trumpet, the trombone, the baritone, the drum pad, otherwise known as the snare drum or the bell kit, which is otherwise known as the xylophone. And they can all be brought on the bus the baritone and the bell kit are a little bit big, a little bit heavy, but um, I've seen them on and off the bus. So the next slide um, talks about percussion. Um, if your son or daughter chooses a percussion instrument, they'll have the choice of what I said before, the, either the drum pad, otherwise known as the snare drum, or the bell kit, otherwise known as the xylophone. Um, drum pad students should purchase um, the pad pad stand, drumsticks, and book. Um, I recommend that you just buy it. It's, um, it's something that you'll be able to, that your son or daughter will be able to keep um, from year to year. And it's really um, a minimal cost to just purchase it rather than renting it. Um, and the bell kit students should rent the bell kit and purchase the book, okay? Because there's always questions with that. Um, and if you have any other percussion questions, you can ask me in the chat or send me an email about that. Wait one second. There we go. Um, I would like to introduce Brian Rotz. Um, our school district works with um, music and arts. Um, he, um, the company, they, they've, I guess, serviced Kennett for 40 plus years now, and we've had a great relationship with them. Um, you are always welcome to use another rental company. If you already own an instrument, um, we can definitely take a look at it to make sure it doesn't need any repairs or anything, but you are also most definitely welcome to do that. Um, one little note about string instruments, um, they do come in smaller sizes. So a full-size violin um, does not work well with third. If you would have one of those at your house um, when they get bigger, that's definitely, and you'll have that full-size instrument. But with the string instruments, um, we recommend with getting the correct size for them so it is easier to play. You know, they can, a, a small third grader cannot play a full-size cello right now. It's just too big. Um, and part of music and arts, we strongly encourage you to, if you are going to rent, do it through their online rental program. And Bryant Ross is going to speak a little bit more about that. But they also have a lot of information on there as well that will help you with figuring out the size of the instrument. Um, but I can also stop down to your child's classroom and assist with just double checking sizes if it seems off from what you think it should be. Okay, so Brian, you wanna unmute and introduce yourself? 
Sure, thank you very much. It's great to see everybody this evening. Uh, I think this might be my 30th parent meeting with the Kennett <laughs> teachers and parents. So I'm, I'm really very pleased about that. Uh, but that kind of ages me too, unfortunately. But thanks everybody for attending the meeting tonight. Uh, I know that we've touched on, there's much research showing that, that uh, music makes your students smarter, but I personally think music also makes us all better human beings. So thank you for attending and showing interest in the music program here at the Kennett. Uh, I'd like to thank the directors, uh, Mrs. Mata and Mrs. Strickland for the opportunity to share our rental program. Uh, as I said, I've been involved with the music program for many years and I help supply everything they need to be successful as well as your child the equipment and music instruments and uh, uh, accessories to make them uh, successful in the program. I know what brands they prefer and make sure to provide only high quality instruments. Uh, I know they have already mentioned that if you do not rent from us, please make sure the instrument you get is of high quality for your student to succeed in this wonderful program. Uh, music and Arts is the leading provider uh, chosen by educators across the country. We have 200 uh, ed reps, that's I'm an educational representative, there's 200 of us nationwide. We also have retail stores and affiliates uh, that support a start of nearly a quarter million beginning instrumentalists in the United States each year. We do have a store close by, it's the, in Wilmington, Delaware. It's in the Midway Plaza Shopping Center, just a few stores down from Home Goods. Everybody knows where Home Goods is, at least, uh, especially my wife. Uh, but our local presence combined with our online offerings and my service to the district on a weekly basis makes us the most accept, um, accessible, convenient, and affordable provider for your students. Some of the highlights of our rapid rental are uh, return or exchange the instrument at any time with no penalty. If you're going to exchange instruments, uh, instrument types, we suggest you talk with the, the uh, teacher about it. They don't want to have a flute coming into flute class one week, and then that flute player trading to a clarinet and coming into flute class the next week. It just doesn't work that way. So that you need to have that discussion if you're going to switch instruments. We have a maintenance plan that covers repairs while you are renting. 100% of the rental payments apply towards the purchase of the instrument. So as you're renting, you are actually purchasing the instrument. We have special purchase discounts for early payoffs that are exclusively available to our rental customers. And we also have the preferred instrument brands, books and supplies for your teachers, teachers classes. Renting with us is quite simple. We do have an online option, which is very easy to use. Uh, you can choose to go to our Wilmington store if, it's, uh, if you wait a, a little too long to get your instrument online. You can make a quick trip to our Wilmington store and they have everything you need to get started. Uh, but most people have it delivered uh, to school for pickup during lessons. Uh, just go to musicarts.com slash rentals to reserve your instrument and select your delivery option at checkout which would be delivered to school. Use the quick code, which is noted uh, on the uh, screen, that E19005, to go right to a list of the Kennett schools. Then you can just select your school. You will note that a pop-up will come up that says Kennett High School. Normally, when we're not virtual, that's where we would have the meeting. So this meeting technically is being held at Kennett High School. So you'll see that pop-up, just click continue. Uh, most parents select deliver to school, then the teachers can prepare the instrument for your students' first lessons. All instruments and accessories are bagged and labeled with your child's name at the school. You may th be thinking, how does this rental work? Well, the prices vary per instrument depending on the, the, uh, ex the uh, uh, cost of the instrument. There's a level uh, group A, group B, and group C. And they are shown uh, on the screen whenever you select your school and have to choose an instrument. But all the instruments have two trial periods that you can select. Uh, a four and a half month trial period, or we do offer a longer option, a 10 month trial period. Either trial period is a low cost, gives you that entire amount of time. At the end, if you continue, 
you'll be charged an automatic monthly rental fee uh, and every penny of that will go to the purchase of the instrument, even the trial period. Again, you can choose to stop your rental at any time. You may return it right to the store or you may call our customer service to get a return authorization number to return it to the school. Please don't just leave it at school because then I won't know it's there for return. Uh, so by letting us know and the teacher know that you want to return it, that's the best policy. You might be thinking, which trial period should I choose? Well, I like to call the 10-month program the Optimistic Parent Program, as you want your child to make sure to give some effort to playing the instrument for the school year. Also, they get to participate in the year-end concert, which I think is a very important and probably some of the highlights of when my kids were growing up and taking instruments. I always enjoyed those year-end beginning concerts. I have to say most students in Kennett complete the full school year, and I highly recommend the longer trial periods that, so that you do not need to worry about monthly charges until the end of the school year. Additionally, uh, we have, in the years past, offered our 10-month rental customers the option to keep the instrument through the summer for free and pay for a new 10-month trial period starting in September, and everything will go towards the purchase of the instrument. So you basically can have two back-to-back 10-month -back trial periods with a free summer in between. That really will save you a lot of money. But of course, you know your child best and either initial trial period will save you money while the student is just beginning. And no matter how hard your child tries to keep their rented instrument in perfect condition, sometimes things just happen. Our damage coverage will protect your investment in the unfortunate event of the stolen, damaged, or in need of repair. You may cancel this coverage at any time, but you can only order it when you begin your agreement. It cannot be added later. The pricing and details are available during the online rental process. And again, the online rental is very easy. All the required items are already in your cart as you check out. You just develop an account and you'll be able to go back and look at your credit. You'll be able to do other things once you've developed your online uh, account. If you have any questions while proceeding through the online rental, we have a live chat that is available for you to ask questions if you're, have, if you're stuck or if you have a question about an instrument or sizing or things like that. Uh, so we always have representatives available to chat with you there. And also in closing, if you have any questions, please reach out to your directors or myself. Uh, my email is b-r-o-t-z at musicarts.com. And I feel free to, to uh, email me anytime with any questions you might have. And just one thing I wanna add, there is a really great sizing uh, guide whenever you select a stringed instrument that shows you how to uh, measure your child for a string instrument. So just don't go by that chart very quickly until you measure your child for the proper instrument. So. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time and I really uh, appreciate the time that uh, Mrs. Mata and Mrs. Strickland gave me to speak to you this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank um, you, Brian. One, one thing to piggyback on what Brian was saying um, with the string instruments, um, if you're ordering them online, if you're able to have them delivered to the school, um, I do put fingering tapes on them because unlike guitar, there's no frets and they are first starting. Um, I do put fingering tapes on so they can visually see how they should be putting that on. And it just saves me time. If I get them in the office, I'll tape them before I even hand them out. Um, but if it does go to your home, that's quite okay. But it does save some time if I get my hands on it first and before um, um, I, I give it to your child at, the, at their first lesson. Um, also, just to mention the piece where he said on high quality, there are lots of options out there for instruments. Um, Depending on where you look, I mean, you can buy a $30 violin, but it will sound like $30 and it will break. Um, and so if you are looking into purchasing their art, you know, that's something I'm happy to help you with as well if you don't want to rent, but it is a smaller size. But um, please be very cautious about buying things online. Um, what Music and Arts has to offer is a high quality instrument that is going to be well taken care of and it will sound good immediately. Um, 
It will be much easier for your child to start yes. on. Yes, if they are struggling to play an instrument because of the condition that it's in, um, it doesn't set them up for And that's what we really want from day one is that they have um, a great experience with us. Mm -hmm. um, so Mrs. Okay, well, the scholarship instrument program, um, there is an instrument scholarship program for families who are financially unable to rent an instrument. And those families can apply to borrow a district owned instrument for the school year. Um, and there is a process to this. Um, first, you have to email either Mrs. Mata or I, and we will send you a paper application. Um, you need to complete the application and we will forward it on to the building principals for approval. Once approved, so this is step by step, once approved, a day will be scheduled for you to pick up the instrument and sign the contract for use. And there is a small fee um, that's required that pays for the maintenance of the instrument. Um, Mrs. Mata, did you want to add? Yes. That? So with, um, with the scholarship instrument program, we do want to give every child an opportunity to play that wants to play. Um, but we also hope, you know, before you look at the scholarship program, consider renting our, um, if you're able to, because the scholarship instruments are, they are, they are okay instruments, um, but it, the whole process takes a long time for us to get everything processed. And overall, the quality of the instruments that you're going to get renting um, are, the, they're the best. That you can get. So we hope, you know, we, uh, we will support everybody in any way we can because we do want every child to play. So just some things to think about.